Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff and today we're checking out the upcoming new Adidas Dayjogger shoes. Let's check them out. So this is an interesting one. Remember the Adidas Night Joggers that dropped about two years ago? It was a pretty interesting shoe, though I personally was not a huge fan of the silhouette. But apparently it did well enough to deserve a sequel. And here we are with the new Adidas Day Jogger shoes. The Day Jogger is the yin to the yang that was the Night Jogger shoe and carries over a lot of the design elements from the silhouette, but in a new streamlined aesthetic. Obviously, this isn't as blocky a silhouette as the Night Joggers, though it definitely is as chunky. These are also going to be priced much cheaper than the Night Joggers. The Night Joggers are about $130 in the US, while the Day Joggers are going to be about $100 to $120 in the US. I'll try to update the price in the description below once these drop. Moving on, since these are under Adidas Originals, they come in the usual Originals blue box. No surprise is there. The shoe is also launching in a whole bunch of colorways. There's the version I have which is the cloud white and grey with hits of this neon orange green color. There's also five colorways in addition to these. There's two black based options and a color popped military tick with these two pastel pairs in pink and green that are supposed to be for the women's model. Coming to the shoe and starting with the upper, you can see that the rigid soles and triangular shaped upper of the night joggers are now replaced with these more organic curves with the midsole that kind of flows down and flares up towards the heel area. It's a kind of similar design to the Adidas ZX4D Morph that was revealed a couple of months ago. But yeah, there's a lot going on with this upper. The upper is made out of a ripstop mesh material with these synthetic suede overlays at the toe box area and towards the heel area. Obviously, the ripstop material isn't as stretchy as Prime Knit and not quite as breathable. But it's not really a surprise considering the price of these shoes. The suede overlays add a bit of structure to the upper but also prevents your toenails from ripping through the material in this area. Similarly to add structure, we have this TPU panel on the forefoot that extends upwards towards the eyelets of the shoe. It's a pretty regular lacing system here with these outdoor inspired laces. Underneath the laces, you have a separated nylon tongue, which has plenty of padding to make it more comfortable. Towards the top of the tongue, you have the Adidas Trifall logo in black with this pop of a neon orange at the top. Coming to the inside of the shoe, you have a white padded sock liner that is comfortable enough. There's an orange insole that seems to be glued down with the Adidas Originals branding on the heel area. And then moving on, the lateral and medial sides of the shoe are more or less exactly the same, with the Adidas three stripes in black on the side of the shoe, with this felt panel taking up a major chunk of the heel area. And this very interesting orange TPU element that kind of seems to be a heel counter that extends around the heel of the shoe over to the other side. It's a little weird but it's definitely really unique and kind of looks a little cool. And then at the back of the shoe you have the ripstop mesh material again with more of the felt material and orange TPU at the back. There definitely seems to be internal reinforcements here in this area to keep it rigid and support the heel of your shoe. And then moving on that very dramatic upper sits on top of this full length boost midsole. I've already talked about boost many many times before but it's definitely one of the most comfortable midsole cushioning tech out there right now. The day jogger doesn't seem to have as much of it as the more expensive ZX2K Boost or even the new Adidas X9000 L4 shoes but it's still pretty comfortable. It's a nice squishy but springy ride just like any other pair of Boost shoes. I wouldn't say that these are more comfortable than the Night Joggers from two years ago. In fact the Boost here actually kind of feels exactly the same in my opinion. Moving downwards what is interesting to see is that these elements from the outsole extend upwards onto the midsole with this tiny hit of a neon orange at the forefoot and this black curved rectangular element on the heel area. Lastly, the outsole is a black rubber outsole with this interesting tread pattern with cutouts where you can see the boost midsole. There's also this nice hit of neon orange as well, just to add a little bit of drama here, which looks really neat as you walk around with these. That's about it for design. Coming to comfort and fit, these actually fit pretty snug, so I'd definitely advise going up half a size because the upper here just isn't very stretchy at all. If you have wide feet like I do, I definitely recommend going up even a full size. For example, I'm a UK 11 and I only went up half a size here and it definitely is way too snug for me. Of course, the best way to know for sure is to try them on in a store. In terms of comfort, these actually are not super comfortable because of the material of the upper, they actually feel quite snug and there just isn't much stretch at all. The midsole is definitely the best part about this shoe because of the boost cushioning but that upper is kind of a letdown. 
For the price though, I really can't complain too much. They seem like one of the best options you can get in the price range and they look pretty good as well. Like if you see somebody walking by wearing one of these, you're definitely going to wonder what shoes these are and they definitely look more expensive than they actually cost. So if you're looking for a cheaper but cool Adidas Originals Boost pair, well, here you go. Personally, I would recommend getting the new ZX 2K Boost over these. It's just a much more comfortable shoe, but admittedly, it does cost way more. All right, guys, with all of that out of the way, let's take a look at the brand new Adidas Day Joggers on feet. Honestly, for the price range, these are pretty nice everyday wear lifestyle shoes. I wouldn't say they're great, but they definitely look more expensive than they actually are. They're not as comfortable as something with a prime knit upper though, but there's plenty of padding to make these at least somewhat comfortable even though there's no stretchiness at all. So that's what I think about the new Adidas Day Jogger shoes. I'm really interested to know what you guys think about these. Do you think these will be as popular as the night joggers were? Or are we totally skipping on these? Let me know right in the comment section below. And if you want to see more photos of the Adidas Day Joggers, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and give me a follow at Clinton Jeff. And if this video is helpful and you want to support the channel, don't forget to hit the like button right below and maybe subscribe because that would be appreciated. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.